Hello friends. Here are the top 30 interview questions for an effluent treatment plant, ETP, operator position, along with their answers. If you get knowledge from this video, then like this video and share it with your friends. 1. What is the role of an ETP operator? Answer. The primary role of an ETP operator is to operate and maintain the effluent treatment plant, ensuring the effective treatment of wastewater before discharge. 2. What are the key components of an ETP? Answer. An ETP typically consists of a collection tank, screens, pumps, primary and secondary treatment units, settling tanks, and disinfection systems. 3. What are the primary pollutants targeted for removal in an ETP? Answer. The main pollutants targeted for removal in an ETP are organic matter, suspended solids, nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus, and potentially harmful chemicals. 4. How do you measure the flow rate of incoming wastewater to the ETP? Answer. The flow rate is usually measured using flow meters installed in the influent pipeline. 5. What is the purpose of a screening mechanism in the ETP? Answer. Screens remove large debris, plastics, and other non-degradable materials to protect downstream treatment units from clogging. 6. Explain the process of primary treatment in the ETP. Answer. Primary treatment involves physical processes like screening, sedimentation, and flotation to remove settleable and floating solids. 7. What is the difference between aerobic and anaerobic treatment processes? Answer. Aerobic treatment uses oxygen to break down organic matter, while anaerobic treatment occurs in the absence of oxygen and produces biogas. 8. How do you adjust the pH of wastewater in the ETP? Answer. The pH can be adjusted using chemicals like acids or bases to bring the wastewater to an optimal range for biological treatment. 9. What is the role of bacteria in the secondary treatment process? Answer. Bacteria play a crucial role in the secondary treatment process by consuming organic matter and converting it into stable solids. 10. How do you monitor the performance of the ETP? Answer. Monitoring involves regular sampling and testing of influent and effluent to check pollutant levels, pH, temperature, and other parameters. 11. What safety precautions do you take while working with chemicals in the ETP? Answer. Safety precautions include using appropriate pay, handling chemicals in a well-ventilated area, and following MSDS guidelines. 12. How do you handle equipment maintenance and repairs in the ETP? Answer. Regular maintenance, inspection, and timely repairs are essential to ensure the smooth functioning of equipment and prevent breakdowns. 13. What actions do you take in case of an ETP system malfunction? Answer. In case of a malfunction, I would first isolate the affected area, inform the supervisor, and take corrective actions according to the standard operating procedures. 14. How do you minimize excess sludge generation in the ETP? Answer. Minimizing excess sludge can be achieved through process optimization, controlling hydraulic retention times, and using advanced treatment techniques. 15. How do you ensure compliance with environmental regulations in the ETP operation? Answer. Compliance involves adhering to discharge limits, performing regular sampling and testing, and maintaining records for regulatory reporting. 16. What measures do you take to conserve water in the ETP? Answer. Water conservation measures may include recycling treated effluent for non-portable uses and optimizing water usage during cleaning and backwashing processes. 17. How do you troubleshoot a sudden drop in treatment efficiency? Answer. Troubleshooting involves analyzing process data, checking equipment status, and identifying any changes in influent characteristics that may affect treatment performance. 18. What steps do you take to prevent ETP odor issues? Answer. Odor prevention measures include covering tanks, ensuring proper ventilation, and using odor control chemicals as necessary. 19. How do you handle hazardous chemicals and waste generated in the ETP? Answer. Hazardous chemicals and waste should be handled according to safety guidelines and disposed of following proper procedures and regulations. 
20. Describe a challenging situation you encountered in operating the ETP and how you resolved it. Answer. Provide a specific example of a problem you faced, the actions you took to address it, and the positive outcome achieved. 21. How do you ensure efficient energy use in the ETP? Answer. Efficient energy use can be achieved by optimizing pump operation, using energy efficient equipment, and utilizing biogas produced during anaerobic treatment. 22. How do you maintain records and documentation in the ETP operation? Answer. Maintaining detailed records of operation, maintenance activities, and analytical data is essential for compliance and process optimization. 23. How do you handle emergencies, such as power outages or equipment failures? Answer. Emergency protocols should be in place to respond to power outages, equipment failures, or any unforeseen incidents to minimize disruptions and prevent environmental impacts. 24. How do you communicate and coordinate with other departments or team members in the organization? Answer. Effective communication and coordination are essential for smooth operation, troubleshooting, and addressing any cross-functional issues. 25. What training have you undergone to become an ETP operator? Answer. Mention any formal education, certifications, or relevant workshops and training that you have completed. 26. How do you stay updated about advancements in ETP technology and practices? Answer. Staying updated involves attending workshops, seminars, and networking with industry professionals and reading relevant publications. 27. How do you handle the disposal of treated effluent? Answer. Treated effluent should be disposed of according to regulatory guidelines, either by discharging into approved water bodies or reusing it for non-portable purposes. 28. Discuss the importance of regular backwashing in the ETP. Answer. Regular backwashing of filters is essential to remove accumulated solids and maintain treatment efficiency. 29. How do you ensure that the ETP operates within the allocated budget? Answer. Managing costs involves optimizing chemical usage, energy consumption, and implementing cost-effective maintenance strategies. 30. Why do you believe you are the right fit for this ETP operator position? Answer. Highlight your relevant experience, knowledge of ETP processes, commitment to safety, and your ability to troubleshoot and maintain the ETP effectively. Remember to tailor your answers to your own experiences and skills to make a strong impression during the interview. Good luck!